Hi everyone and welcome to my place. If you are looking for a rustic woodlandy Christmas tree decoration, I might have you covered. I found these beautiful birch discs the other day and I thought, oh my goodness, they would be perfect hanging on a tree. Unfortunately, they don't come with a hole in them. So if you want to make these, you're going to have to get a bloke with a drill or be very brave and get the drill that belongs to a bloke or if you're lucky like me and you've got your own drill, you need to drill a little hole at the top so that you can put your hanging device into it. Now, I've got several ways that I want to show you how to do these and I absolutely love them and they're so, so easy. Now, you need a little bit of the old Mod Podge here and I'm just gonna put a little bit of that into there. I've also got these lovely little, so the, well, they're little Christmas sort of cards that I bought in a pack and I thought, oh, they're really lovely. They're sort of like that same tonal value as the wood. Right, from there, all you need to do is, it's like decoupage onto a bit of wood. Now, the first thing that you need to do, and I've already done this, is I've actually gone over the surface two times with the Mod Podge just to seal it because the wood's quite dry so that the glue will suck into it and it might make it difficult for things to stick onto it. Right, so just two coats will is all that you need to do to seal it and so that you can continue to stick things onto it. Right, this one's already been done and you can see that it doesn't really look like there's anything on it because it just soaks in and gives that really lovely seal. Right, with these, this is my first version which I absolutely love and I thought that these would be a marvellous gift for those that are, are recently married or haven't got any, haven't started their Christmas sort of um, gatherings for the tree. Right, that just goes on to there like that and and if you wanted to add a little bit more, it's just a matter of sticking that onto there. Now, if you don't have enough sealant onto there, what will happen is that's going to lift up. So what I did was, I just got a little bit of baking paper and put that onto there like that, put that over there, and then just put a weight on it to make sure that it stays firmly in place like I've done there. Now, once you've done that, the next thing to do is to just put another couple of coats of your Mod Podge over there, or even PVA glue, because that dries transparent as well, and then just leave that to dry, and also it gives it a nice seal. The other thing that you could do if you wanted to is you could put a nice watery wash over that, but my other, and I'll come back and I'll show you these all finished in a minute. The other thing that I like to do is getting one of your discs which has been sealed. Now I've just got a paper to, uh, serviette here with a Christmas inspired sort of like design and a few words on it. Take the bottom layer off, the, you can tell that this is cheap because it's only got two layers but if it's got three, take all three layers off and you can either cut it out or what I like to do is to just rip around here like so. It doesn't matter that you don't get the whole thing in because we can just layer it up like decoupage as if you were doing decoupage on on any iron any kind of surface. Right, I'm going to just take that bit there off. Now the secret with this is to use a watery solution. Now this is my watery solution that I saved. And it's, oops, there was a wee bit of a skin in there, but never mind. And just to make sure that it is nice and watery. And I like to use like half water and half glue. And I'll show you why in a minute. If you use the full strength, what will happen is when you apply, the coat of paint over the top of it. And as I said, make sure that you've already sealed this before you go, like so. Oh, if you use anything that is, if you use the full strength, what will happen is when you put that onto there, like so, and you put the glue over the top of it to help um, smooth it out, what will happen is that it will rip because the glue's too heavy for the surface. Little tip that I discovered ages and ages ago. So just keep watering that down like that with that watery solution and where it comes it's sort of sticky, if it's going over the edges, just leave that and then you can seal that round the edge there but I don't actually like to do that because I actually like to see that lovely bit of bark on the outside. Right, let that dry and if you wanted to add another few little bits of decoration to that to just layer it up if you wanted a wee bit more down there. It's just a matter of laying that down 
And I think that with something like this, this really lovely rustic look, it doesn't need to be perfect. Now you might notice also that there are a wee few wrinkles in it. Don't worry about those little wrinkles because they will dry flat or as flat as possible anyway. But um, you could also stamp onto that if you wanted to. So let that dry flat, undisturbed, and then put another couple of coats of your mod, full strength Mod Podge over the top of that to actually seal it. Right, I've actually done one here which I've done I've already got it's all ready to go and um, I've just put two coats over that and it's I've used the dull or the matte finish so that it's not too sparkly and shiny because I think that with the the uh, tonal values of the wood it all sort of like lends and blends so I'll show you that finished in a minute now the other thing that you can do if you wanted to with the whole I've got these beautiful little wooden um, Christmas decorations that I've had for a number of years and I'm actually a bit sick of using them now so what I thought is that that might be nice just these lovely little plain images the wood on the wood and then if you didn't have access to uh, a drill you could just stick that onto there like that and then you've got the ribbon and everything's ready to go. I call that really great upcycling. Fantastic. Now getting back to these, once you've done that it's just a matter of getting yourself some string and I thought that jute or string would be really lovely with these because of the colours, the colourway and like keeping it as rustic as possible. Just push that through to there, folding it in half and then bringing that up to there. How cool and groovy and easy is that for those looking for something a little woodlandy. I think that they are just fantastic. The other thing that you could do with these, this, the plain one here is, you could either get a little bit of artificial holly, which I've got here, um, or you could even use fresh holly if you had it. Now that could just be glued onto there like that, which is quite pretty, and you could further embellish it if you didn't want to do that, which, well, it's quite nice that. I don't mind that. Um, have I got another one here that I've done? No, I wouldn't, would I? So, but even taking that off there and you could perhaps just put, I've made this little wee, ro this little wee um, hydrangea in there. You could perhaps put that in the hessian or the burlap over that. Simple, simple decorations that don't take much to put together and I call those my eco-friendly Christmas decorations. Beautiful, beautiful heirloom pieces that could go on for years and years and years. I hope you've enjoyed this. I've enjoyed sharing with you. I'll see you another day.